Yo, what's up guys? My name is Ernie and I'm the Facebook specialist here at Community Boost. Today I'm going to be showing you how to effectively boost your posts on Facebook. We work with a ton of nonprofits and when we talk to them about their boost the posts, many of them just say they hit the blue button and that's about it. And I get it, it's easy. You click the button, you set your budget, and bam, it's over. Facebook goes on, finds you a bunch of people to engage with your post. So what seems to be the problem? Seems to be a win-win, right? Well, no. When you boost the post like that, you really don't know who you're reaching and you're missing out on a lot of data that could be useful. So before you boost your next post, I highly recommend you do some of these things. First thing I would suggest, it goes go into your ad manager, create a new campaign, set your ad, uh, create your ad set, and then upload your customer list, make some lookalikes, set all the stuff up you would if you were normally creating an ad. And once you do that, go into the ad, create, uh, ad creation side and you will see two tabs there. One tab will say, create an ad, the second will be existing post. Guess which one we're gonna click? That's right, existing post. You select that, hit the publish button, and guess what? You are now running boosted posts, generating a ton of new data to create a better engagement post next time you submit something. That's it guys, thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us to see more of our awesome daily tips on how to maximize your nonprofit's goals.